there are certain things you need to be aware of, and there, are, there is a risk, a lifelong risk for an infection. And, uh, and that's because there's an external drainage from the inside of the eye to the outside of the eye. And the actual numbers are about 1% per year, basically. Um, uh, but you know, there are certain things that have been modified with our technique, how we make our incision, what kind of anti-scarring medication we use, and how that anti-scarring medication is applied that have now minimized the potential risk for infection. But although we've minimized it, it's still a real risk that uh, all patients that have undergone a trabeculectomy or any subconjunctival filtration procedure, such as a gel stent, um, need to be aware of. And so if you have a what's called a bleb, and that's the area where the fluid is flowing from inside of the eye to the outside of the eye underneath the skin, it's called a bleb. And you'll hear your doctor say that on occasion. And if, uh, if you have a bleb, then you need to be aware, aware of the potential for or, uh, an infection. So unlike your neighbor that has never had a glaucoma surgery, uh, if their eye is red, you can kind of chalk it off to some irritation or maybe a, a pink eye or something. But if you have a bleb and you have a pink eye or an eye that's irritated or tearing, you need to see your ophthalmologist uh, because that could be the first sign of an infection. As it, if it gets worse, then the eye can get more red more irritated, more tearing, more sensitive to light, and then you can have a, a drop in vision. All those are signs that things are getting worse. So what I tell my patients is uh, you need to be aware of your eye, understand that you're, because of this surgery, you're at a lifelong risk for infection. And if you have any tearing or redness or pain, you need to call your ophthalmologist immediately. Certain activities you should use caution with once you have had these kind of surgeries. Uh, I would strong, I'd strongly discourage my patients from scuba diving, from swimming in a pool or a pond and opening your eyes underwater. Uh, you know, sometimes you can swim still, but use goggles that maybe not have that suction, but maybe the foam seal. Again, uh, everybody has a different style. So make sure you run this by your ophthalmologist or your glaucoma specialist uh, before you take these. But I'm very uh, you know, conservative with my patients when it comes to protecting them from infection. And um, I strongly discourage them from, um, from having any kind of uh, activity where they are at risk for any kind of bacteria or dirt in the eye. So dusty environments, uh, being out, outside around a lot of dirt and dust, swimming in a pond, opening your eyes underwater, all those things you need to be extremely careful of, as well as contact lens wearing. I'm, I'm, I usually don't like my patients to wear contact lenses after having a trabeculectomy or even having a bleb.